Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome to day number 86 of my 100 day green smoothie challenge. Um, this video is being shot late in the day. I had to wake up early this morning because I had some stuff I had to take care of in downtown Portland, uh, which did not come into fruition and I'm highly disappointed and maybe I'll go into that a little later on in the video. I'm not sure. But um, we are actually just going to get rocking and rolling and uh, start working out at the gym here at the community center. And so today is cardio day, so that's when, uh, that's when I'm going to be burning off some more calories. I did a lot of walking this morning, so I probably got over 10,000 steps so far. So now we're going to go inside of the community center. And we're gonna go inside of the gym. All right, so I am here at the community center, and apparently some people like to smack the weights, unfortunately. But I'm here for uh, cardio, and right in front of me is the machine, which I'm gonna spend a little over an hour on, get more steps in, get some more cardio in, get my heart rate up there, and. Uh, really start working it so we're gonna begin and I'll be back in an hour so I just got done my workout as you can tell I am like sweating like crazy and uh, I think I'm just gonna take a seat for a little bit now normally I'm not I'm not gonna get personal and normally I don't get personal but um, the thing that I had to go to this morning was a court date because back in April, April, I witnessed a domestic violence situation. And this was in my apartment complex. See, I was listening a few feet away from my apartment complex when there was this girl. And uh, she was really distraught. She had red marks on her face and on her arms and on her chest and scratches and asked if she could borrow my phone. Well, previous to that, as I was walking home, like right across the street from the Denny's in my neighborhood, there was some dude with a backpack talking to a really pink girly phone, just screaming and yelling and and I'm thinking to myself, okay, so maybe must have pissed in his sweeties. It wasn't until I put two and two together and she was talking to the 911 operator that that was the guy who was talking into her phone because he stole her fucking phone. He stole her phone so that she couldn't call the police or anybody. And I just so happened to be in the right place at the right time. And as someone who is a survivor of domestic abuse, I, I made a vow that if I ever got out of that situation that I would help somebody else. Well, uh, last month I was called to testify in this situation because it was a trial. And, um, well, it uh, got bumped to today. I go in today and it gets bumped again. And I'm really pissed off. I'm really, really pissed off because it shows me that the justice system does not give a fuck about domestic abuse. It does not give a fuck about domestic abuse vi victims. It does not give a fuck about domestic violence. And I am disgusted with this justice system. I, after going in the second time and hearing that I was not supposed to go to trial today, I was extremely angry. Because, I don't know, maybe there's that part of me that still wants justice for what happened to me. And I want justice for this girl. I'm just really angry. I I actually left uh, a very angry voice message with the DA and I said something along the lines of, next time you give me a fucking subpoena, there better be a fucking trial. Because this is a waste of my time. We don't go, we should not be going back and forth about this. The guy 
assaulted this girl. He stole her phone. I was a witness to that. I was a witness to him yelling and cursing down the street. I was witness to her being disheveled and distraught. And I was a witness to seeing marks on her. That should be enough. That should be enough to put this fucking asshole away. But obviously this punk probably has a really good lawyer who also beats women, but you know, um, that's beside the point. So I'm just going to say that the next time we get a fucking subpoena, I better go to trial and I better be able to testify because I want to put this scumbag away. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's my rant. So, I don't know. I just feel like there isn't any justice right now. And I'm really pissed off. So, But uh, we're just uh, going to get back to the subject of the day. Enough of my ranting. So, uh, I know you don't want to hear the long, boring details. So, um, we're just going to get on with the rest of the video. So, here's my green smoothie of the day. Uh, it has... Half a cup of spinach, half a cup of kale, and a half a cup of spring mixed greens, along with half a cup of mangoes, half a cup of strawberries, and half a cup of whatever the fuck it is. Um, trying to think. And, oh, tropical fruit medley, along with uh, two tablespoons of raw flax seeds and one cup of water. So, yes, I made it really small today. Because, well, I wasn't really um, wanting to eat that much. So, this is my green smoothie of the day. And now, this is what's going to go down the old gullet. Well, beautiful people, we've come to the end of yet another video. So, now you know what to do. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Spread the love. Hit the share button. Also, like what I'm doing on my channel. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when I will be uploading a new video, which will be every single day, uh, please ring my bell because, you know what, I like it when you ring my bell. Also, um, if you would like to keep up with me at my other social media circles, such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even Tumblr, you can do so all at one place at fat middle aged ginger pdx.weebly.com. Well, beautiful people, I am signing off. But until tomorrow, be sure to stay healthy, stay beautiful, and most of all, be good to each other. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.